Hello everyone, this is Jordan from PineXL.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a navigation pane in Microsoft Excel without any VBA or add-ons. We structure all our templates using this method in order to make them look less like a spreadsheet but more modern, almost like a standalone application. We received many questions regarding this feature, so we decided to show you exactly how we do it. There are indeed many ways of creating a navigation menu in an Excel workbook. You can use buttons, forms, with or without macros. However, we think that our way definitely looks best. Today we are going to recreate this example navigation pane with menus and submenus. Let's get started by opening a brand new workbook. The first thing we need to do is to hide the first row and column. You will see why this is needed in a minute. Then start designing the navigation pane. Select the preferred background color. If it's different from white, all charts and tables will pop out. Then choose the color for the navigation menu, select the first three columns and apply it. Let's add the different navigation menus. Choose your starting point and merge the three columns for the selected row. Add the shades that we will be working with. For data input, there will be two sub-menus. Overall, we will have four sheets. After we are ready with the navigation pane for the first sheet, select all and paste in all sheets in order to make sure the same format is applied. Note how the first column and row are automatically hidden. Now it is time to format. For the sheet which is currently opened, the cell color will be the same as the background. This will help the user see immediately where they are in the file. Next, link the navigation menu to the different sheets. Right click on the menu and add a hyperlink to the respective sheet in the workbook. Then remove the underline and apply a white font color. We need to do the same in sheet settings as well. Now the navigation menu is starting to take shape. Here you can see why we needed to hide the first row and column. When you use a hyperlink to go to an Excel sheet, the cell A1 is automatically selected. By hiding them, the user doesn't see any cells pre-selected while going through the different sheets, which helps for the overall feel of the file. Since the menu data input is split in two submenus, we will do it a little bit more differently. The goal here is to give the impression that the submenus are hidden until the data input main menu is selected. Add the two submenus and format. Using different colors, we allow the user to understand the structure of the file. In this case, to see that the income and expense subsheets are part of the main data input sheet, which by itself doesn't contain any information. We can copy the already formatted menus from the other sheets to save time and continue with the second submenu where we do the same thing. As you can see, the navigation menu is now ready and looks fantastic. Now let's see how we can make this workbook look even cleaner. Select all sheets and hide the headings and formula bar. We can also unpin the ribbon. 
Now we can hide the sheet tabs so that the users will have to use the navigation menu. Go to File, Options, Advanced and deselect the Show Sheet Tabs options. There, now our workbook truly looks modern and professional. This technique will definitely help to impress your viewers, who will refuse to believe that this really is a standard Microsoft Excel workbook. Don't forget to check out our channel for more Excel tips and tricks, dynamic charts and templates. Also, make sure to visit our website, where you can find some amazing Excel templates like the ones featured in the beginning of the video. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. This was Jordan from PineExcel.com. Thank you very much for watching.